sort of play around. Def definitely, uh, definitely help for Erica, giving himself enough room to so sort of float around defensively at, at Sora. Yep, so we're going to be seeing, and we are going to be seeing uh, Town and City as our first, um, <clears throat> as our first uh, stage for the set. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that generally benefits uh, both both characters. Um, uh, Falco obviously going to be getting a lot of um, a lot of kills off the side. But I mean, Sora definitely has a good amount of kill power off the side as well. So we're gonna be seeing. I already do like the way that Steelix is using the reflector to control that uh, space. Not only, you know, shutting down any of Helper's uh, oh. projectiles, but what a two frame by Helper. And that is gonna be a not quite dead bird. I'm surprised. Kills a little bit more off the top than I thought it did. That bird is definitely tender and cooked. Yep. So that was going to be Helper taking stock one, but finding an up tilt for his troubles on the way back into center stage. Oh. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, the, the, the 599 special of being able to live forever. Yep, that's, that's just the power of friendship when it comes, comes to Sora. But, I mean, it might not be lasting too much longer. Helper is starting to get to these red percents while Steelix still sitting pretty on it uh here pretty fresh on his uh on his second stock not too much extra credit coming out not able to punish the side me though unfortunately for steelix yeah uh, uh phantom was was uh so, sorry illusion was, was a little a little slow on uh on, on the reaction there he may he may have ha had a better chance of just trying to uh run up and grab if anything yep and we're seeing Steelix just really trying to deal with these projectiles. The Reflector will be helping with the Faraga, but we saw it wasn't helping much with the uh, Thundaga. It just kind of sent it back upward. Oh, you're sneaky. You're, you're sneaky, Helper. There, there, sneaky. <laughs> that laser. This, all right, great patience by Steelix, but unfortunately wasn't quite able to react to DI the dash attack in time. That is going to be Helper taking stock two while still sitting on his first. I love the ambiguity right there of Helper. He stayed directly under center stage for so long. It's like, where, which side am I going to go to? I can take forever to decide. Yeah, the 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 599 core privilege once again is because showing right there. Yeah. <laughs> and. Yeah, the up air laser, unfortunately, not going to be connecting for Steelix, which means Helper still living, and Steelix just not able Ooh. to find it. I love the angle on the side B. <laughs> this has got to be so annoying for Steelix. Helper has been playing so long, just completely under the stage. Yeah, uh, he, he is definitely, uh, a cloud. uh, Living, for, li living forever. Truly, really pretty making it almost difficult for Steelers to, to properly hit him. Oh, yep, man. and just getting hit by the Blazaga and not able to find anything just yet. Steelers trying to poke with the forward <laughs> tilt. Just look at this. And you still get hit out of it because of the inward angled side B. Oh, no, quite tragic. Uh, I I, I think Steelers over here is, is, is getting bullied. <laughs> This is definitely looking very, very rude coming out from Helper. I... Oh, All right, oh, Saibi he... will be putting Steelix back into the corner, not able to get the two frame that time, but the Ooh. Thundaga gonna be taking it for Helper. Ooh, boy. Uh, I... I think a definite switch in stage is a uh, is is in order. Yeah, once again, it just kind of comes down to Steelix needs to really get those conversions on lock and not let the kills go. But I mean, the way that Helper was playing is just so difficult to lock. That it, like, how do you edge guard what Helper was doing? Yeah, best. <laughs> okay, so I, so I so I like this pick. Uh, going going to 
to, to small battlefield. It's a, it's, a, it's a little smaller. There's like two platforms to, to worry about, and and and, and at least uh, Helper will, will definitely not be uh, playing around under the stage uh, as uh, that often. At least I hope hope it doesn't happen. Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> a little bit more awkward for Helper, and I already can see some uh, nice percent lead coming out for Steelix using that laser to extend just a little bit more. Ooh, boy. <laughs> and that's going to be the kill, Steelix, uh, reflecting the Blizzaga. And that's what I was saying before. You know, even though Helper was able to get back to ledge, it was still a ledge trapping scenario. And Steelix really got what he needed out of that, which is getting explosive kills. Yeah, but uh, Helper, Helper is showing to, to not be phased by, 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 that, by that stock of call loss. And, and instead, it's, it's still putting in the hurt on on Steelix. All right, let's see, and Steelix looking to extend that lead even further right now with some nice uh, up air conversions or up throw conversions rather. Let's see, another forward air putting Helper off stage. Helper doesn't quite have the luxury of you know under the stage that he did in game one. And they're a mistech Ooh. putting Helper back out there, but that did seem to be a, a, a sour spot on, on that on that back air. What oh. a spot dodge read! Even even Helper was nodding his head like, yeah, yeah, you got me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I I, I really did bully you on, on game one. I did deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but Felix maybe getting a little bit too a a bit too hungry right there, but a another a great tech coming out. We tech those in New York. Absolutely, and now Steelix just... <laughs> right. The mix. Almost the uh, reversal down air, almost taking it for Helper, but Steelix still chilling with that first stock. Helper has to work just a little bit harder. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, Steelix has to be a little careful with Sora's uh, down tilt because it, cause it, can't, it, it can lead to either like an up, Oh, well, he yeah, died. I think that was an up air that took it, and that's a reverse three stock. That is two three stocks in a row for different players. Oh, man, that that was <laughs> that was so uh, disrespectful. But I, but I understand the frustration. Again, he he was he was not having fun called game called game one. Definitely, definitely a little bit rough, and now. See what our final counter pick of the set is going to be. This is going to be Helper's counter pick, and it's going to be FD. Oh, okay. This, so this is an interesting uh, pick by Helper. I I think it makes sense because you know Steelix is able to get so much off of uh, platform extensions, uh, whereas you know Sora's advantage and combos are a little more horizontal in nature. So Helper hopefully looking to kind of neuter that advantage state for Steelix and live a little bit longer so that he can start getting some kills of his own. Okay, that, that actually makes me valid sense as, as you explain that. So let's see. But that being said, though, Steelix is sitting with a good percent lead right now. Whoops. Ooh, almost getting some loops started for Helper. Ooh, see. Yeah. Oh. All right, getting a nice conversion out of the down tilt, but just getting a little bit closer to the kill. And I think we're starting to see some good adaptations coming out uh, from Steelix starting to play around Sora's more uh, long range game, something that I think he was struggling a little bit with in uh, game one, Ooh. almost getting the down tilt, which certainly would have spelled death. Oh, but not I, ready for the Thundaga that time, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, I really, really do like how, how Helper is, is using the Thundaga whenever he's like understated. And that killed? Yep, that was the, the back throw laser. Uh, Helper tried to play around Steelix, uh, doing some tricky ledge jumps. The ledge, but... Uh, Unfortunately, a reversal uppy not going to be doing it for a Helper, meaning that Steelix gets another opening. Oh, the two-frame on, on that dash attack. 
Yeah, Dash Attack's so good at two framing. But if you're not <laughs> able to get the kill, then Steelix is just getting so much damage. Already Helper almost at 100%, while Helper's still looking for the Ooh, first stock. Finally getting out. a drag down. Good call out there by Steelix with that forward air. I'm really liking how the way Steelix is playing in, 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 these, in these games. Yep, and just harassing Helper at the ledge, seeing Helper wanting to come up with some spells and just outspacing all of Helper's options right now. Let's see. All right, not able to get the uh, back air as Yo, up the, up the, the, the momentum f from Steelix. Absolutely great stuff by Steelix. It just felt like once Helper was in disadvantage, it just felt so bad once Helper didn't have the... Um, the, the runaway potential that we saw in Town and City where he could go, like, under the stage. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like I, re I really did like both the adaptation and, and the movement by both players. Good job. Absolutely. Good job on them. So that is going to be uh, Steelix moving on. Let's see here. So right now, we're with... Yo, this, this piano. Yeah. Oh. 